Yo, what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, the T-Roy Man, back with another video for you guys today. And today I'm continuing. Today will be part two of talking about Universal Orlando Resort. So today I'm going to talk about the other theme park, Islands of Adventure. Um, now a lot of, not too much has happened to this park since I've, since I've last been there. So not too many changes have been made. And I'm going to talk about it a little more in detail than I did in the last video where I talked about the Universal Studios Florida side. So, yeah. So, when you first you walk in, if you go to the left, you'll land in Marvel Superhero Island. Yeah, it's a complete circle, so it's not, it's not as confusing. There you'll have Spider-Man, uh, The Incredible Hulk, Storm Force Acceleration, and Doctor Doom's Fearfall. Um, and then shops and eateries. And then you land in Toon Lagoon, um, which has the River Rapids, Popeye Bluto's Barges, and then uh, Dudley Do Wright's Ripsaw Falls. Um, and then those are cartoons that go way back. <laughs> so, And then you in enter the Jurassic Park area, which is home to Velocicoaster, uh, Teardown Flyers, Camp Jurassic, and Jurassic Park River Adventure. And plus, you have the Raptor counter, which uh, features the Raptor from um, Jurassic World now. Um, or, oh wait, no. I think they just updated it to look like the Jurassic World theme, but I don't know. Um, and then you enter into Hogsmeade, which is the second Harry Potter area, which is home to Forbidden Journey, Flight of the Hippogriff, and Hagrid's Mudrick Adventure. Plus some little shops, and then, I think that, yeah, I think there's a couple restaurants. Um, and then you have the Hogwarts Express, which will take you over to Diagon Alley if you, um, anyways. And then you enter the Lost Continent, which doesn't really have anything right now on theirs besides Fury, but, um, I think it's shutting down permanently, so, yeah. And then you have the Ape Voyage Sinbad, I believe, but that's also shut down as well. And then you have... The Seuss Landing, which is the kids' area in Islands of Adventure, which has Cat in the Hat, One, two, one Fish, Two Fish, Blue Fish, Red Fish. Um, plus, you have the, the the High End Sky Ride. And then, I think. Oh, yeah, and the Carousel. Um, so, yeah, that's how the, that's how it looks. Um, now, the newest attractions that they've added since I've last been there, obviously the Harry Potter areas in the Harry Potter area. Uh, Velocicoaster is new. Um, oh, yeah, Kong Skull Island. So that's in between Toon Lagoon and Dress Park. I forgot all about that. They added that since I've last been gone. Um, I think, uh, yeah, I think that's it. And also for Islands of Adventure during their Christmas season, um, over in Seuss Landing, they have uh, Grinchmas, which is their live stage show that they do. I've seen it. It's, I've always, I mean, I I enjoyed it every time I saw it. So, yeah. Um, so some of my favorite attractions from when I was going there, I like the two water rides in Toon Lagoon. Good fun. Did both of them. Um, I like the Spider-Man attraction. Dress Park Adventure was fun too. Um, pretty much got to do everything in Seuss Landing. Um, which is cool. And then... And then let's see. I think that's about... Yeah, that's about it. Because... Oh yeah, I also did Poseidon's Fury as well. And I enjoyed that. Yeah, because I haven't... Yeah, I haven't been there since they've had Velocicoaster or the Harry Potter area. So... Or Kong Skull Island. I haven't done any of those attractions. So, yeah. Well, that's good to do it, and that wraps up Universal Orlando. I was going to do one more part about Volcano Bay, but I don't know enough about that. And so, yeah. Well, that's going to do it. And with that being said, have a blessed day, everyone.